31-21, Virginia, yes, Virginia, 7-3, and 4-2 and two now in the ACC as they take down Duke and keep rolling and stay alive in the Coastal. Rich Waltz along with Keith Jones. Another step forward for Mike London, who has done an incredible job here in Charlottesville. Picked early in the preseason to finish fifth in the Coastal. They're now in their own catbird seat. They win two more ball games. They're in Charlotte. This was not a cakewalk. This was a tight ball game. That was the touchdown pass to Jeremiah Mathis from Michael Rocco to start things and make it 7-0. Both of these teams gave punches and counter punches here in the first half. Duke comes back with a 64 yard catch and run for a touchdown and, and you didn't know which way the game was going. That was Donovan Varner. Varner would go on to set the Duke all time career receptions record in this game. This a touchdown run for Jawan Thompson. But Michael Rocco was on the money when he needed to and Chris Bird stayed in bounds when he needed and, to. And how Bird stayed in bounds we don't know but he did because it went to replay. There's the record breaker for Varner as he passes Clarkson Hines, but he did have some drops in the second half. There's your halftime scores 14 14 at the half going into the third quarter and this a, a big hit Cam Johnson and Chase Minifield takes it to the house. And remember Duke if they had scored on that drive would have gone ahead. Now they're playing catch up the rest of the way and catch up against Virginia is not easy with a very solid offensive line and a very good defense. You gotta have hats off if that's the right way to say it to this Virginia Cavalier squad. Offense, defense, special teams. They blocked a field goal, forced Duke to miss a field goal. Uh, they played a very, very solid football game. And after the ball game, Mike London visited with Jen Hildreth. Just coming out in the second half with a better mindset of just trying to do the things that we can do. You know, that's a tough, aggressive. That's an aggressive team. That's a tough team. You know, a lot of, lot, of, lot of talking going on back and forth. And, uh, you know, we just got to settle down sometimes and play football. Sometimes the emotion of a game gets, you know, gets you caught up into things. But I'm proud of the way our team has now responded in any type of game, any type of situation to come back and put a W on the, on the board. So the question now is, how does Virginia match up on the road against Florida State? Well, it's going to be a tough challenge. The Seminoles are playing very well of late as well. Uh, I think if Virginia controls the ball game by running it and limits the number of possessions the Seminoles have, then that might be a recipe to go into Tallahassee and come out with a victory. Remember, this is the same Virginia team that went into Miami and beat the Hurricanes on the road in a big win. 31-21 the final. Virginia now 7-3 and 4-2 and in the ACC.